Hello and welcome to our first weekly podcast on tricks and tips for Office 2010. Now this podcast is a presentation brought to you by mywebinars.ca and CCNB, the DF campus. Each week we will bring you tips and tricks uh, for Microsoft Office 2010 features. So how about we get started? By the way, my name is Serge Duguay and I'll be the host of these podcasts uh, for the up and coming weeks. So what is the theme of this week? Well this week we'll be talking about how to recover deleted items uh, in Outlook 2010. Now this has probably happened to you. You deleted uh, an email uh, then went to your uh, box, your, your uh, deleted box and uh, you know emptied out your, your box uh, and maybe inadvertently you noticed that you actually deleted an item or a, an email that maybe you shouldn't have deleted. And Outlook in many cases also deletes automatically the uh, deleted box uh, automatically. So sometimes it can happen automatically that you can lose some, some uh, items or some emails. Well, if you have Microsoft Exchange on your server, uh, it's possible that you could recover some of those lost emails, which would be a great value to many people. Uh, so have no fear. Uh, we're going to show you how you can go and recover those items. I'm going to go to my personal Outlook. Now, first of all, you have to start off by going to uh, your trash can. And you notice that here in mine, I have presently no deleted items. Um, and now to recover those, it's, it, it, they appear in, they're not on your computer per se, they're on the server of uh, your in, uh, organization. So what you can do is go to the tab called Folder, and there are plenty of different icons there, but there's one specific one called Recover Deleted Items. Now when you click that, a pop-up window will appear with a list of all of those emails that you've deleted in the last little while. Now I'm saying the little while because actually your administrator of your server uh, sets up how long each email is uh, to be held for. So in our case, in our organization, it's we keep these emails for 30 days. So you can go back as far as 30 days and retrieve some of those emails that you may have lost. So you can either select the whole lot, which I don't recommend because you imagine all of those emails that you have deleted in those 30 days will appear. In my case, I get 150 to 200 emails per day. Um, so I wouldn't want to uh, recover all of those. Um, I would only recover the ones that I really need to recover. So let's say I, um, I select held over two more days. Uh, so if I want to recover that one, uh, the, there is a button here called Recover Selected Items. So if I click on that, this, as you can see what happens, it appears now in my trash can or in my deleted items can. So I can either open them up right there from that email or I can click and drag it to my reception box or my inbox so that it now appears in my uh, re um, inbox at the date that it was originally sent. So it won't appear like a first item in my inbox. It will appear in my in my in the case of the email that I just uh, recovered. It will appear on in the April 11th uh, list. So it's not it's not very very difficult to do. So you go to your deleted items, go to your folder or your tab called folder, you click on recover deleted items, a pop-up window appears, you select which email you want to recover and you click recover selected items and it appears in your deleted items. 
Thank you for watching this week's podcast on tricks and tips in Office 2010. Just a reminder to check out our uh, website, uh, mywebinars.ca. For all upcoming webinars, we have some coming on transitioning from Office 2003 and 2007 to 2010. And we also have other themes than uh, just Microsoft Office stuff. We have unhappy and um, uh, upset customers, how, deal, how to deal with those people. And we also have a really, really great mini series on insights, discovery, uh, personal effectiveness. If you've never um, participated in a insights discovery session, uh, it's really worthwhile. It's a great, great tool uh, for you to, to help you uh, learn a little bit more about yourself, learn about others, and how to adapt your style to other people's personalities. So thank you very much once again, and we'll see you next week.